four quick final questions as we round the bases with Alana Rizzo. First one, you are a Colorado Buffalo, which means that you have to be all in, I think, on Coach Prime. I've never seen the country be so interested in one team, certainly one that was arguably the worst in, in all of college football. You have to be loving this. I love the fact that everybody knows about Colorado football again. We're finally relevant for the first time in 15 years. Um, I love what Coach Prime is doing for that school and the sport. Um, it's funny because my two worlds collided yesterday. The Los Angeles Dodgers had their dress up day. You know how they do that every single year. And it used to just be for the rookies, but for the past like four or five years, they've had the entire team dress up. Well, Coach um, Prime became Dave Roberts yesterday because Dave Roberts dressed up as Deion Sanders. And I was fortunate enough to be able to get a pair of benders, those sunglasses from Colorado to get them to Dave Roberts so he could be Coach Prime. So um, I love it. Now, I will say this. I, I can appreciate all the hype, but I knew it was going to be a very difficult time once conference play opened up. And you can see that with Oregon. Um you know, Nix is the hell of a quarterback for Oregon, and we're about to play USC tomorrow, uh, Saturday, the 30th at Folsom. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I love it. I love it. But also, you know, you got to you gotta win and lose with class too. So, I mean, I'm old school. I'm like, get off my lawn, yell, old lady yelling at clouds. But I love the fact that people are talking about Colorado football again. Yeah, and by the time this is released next week, we'll know how they did against USC. And, and my guess is it won't be great. But if it is, you're going to get a lot of I told you so's from Dion. And, and, and we'll see. Look, he's one of the greatest football players of all time. He is a guy that that was branding and way ahead of social media and TikTok. There's a reason why he's on every TikTok feed, every Instagram feed. But that was him as a player, too, and on and on. I, I think it's, it's a fascinating – I keep telling my son – it's a fascinating study for college kids that are studying marketing and business in terms of sports. It, it really is. Okay. Second question. How impossible was it? You made the choice. What a, what a blessing to have that choice to leave the Dodgers, a job I know that you loved and to move to the East coast. It was incredibly difficult. I mean, I agonized over it for months. Um, you know, it was finally a time in my life where I needed to put personal above professional. Because I think in, in this industry, you sacrifice so much of your personal life to get to where you want to professionally. And at the time, he's my husband now, but at the time, you know, my fiance had, you know, changed his career. He was done playing and he was on the East Coast. He has two small girls that live on the East Coast and he needed to be here. And you know, we were coast to coast for six years of our relationship before I said goodbye to the Dodgers. And I, I, I didn't want to leave the Dodgers. I didn't want to leave that job, but I knew that, you know, my future was here on the East coast. So, um, you know, I, I even toyed with, could I do 81 games? Could I do all away games? Could I help train my replacement? You know, how could I still be involved? But with that type of job, you have to be all in. And I didn't feel like it was fair to the Dodgers to, to not be all in. And, you know, they treated me with such grace and class and respect and, and professionalism. And I will forever be grateful to them. You know, I was with them for seven years. I have a world series ring with them. Um, they treated me like family and it was difficult, but I, I know that I made the right decision. And um, I was grateful to major league baseball network for wanting me back. Cause this is my second stint with the network. So it all worked out. Um, but life work balance is really important to me now. You know, I'm a lot older than I was when I started in this industry um, two decades ago. So um, I'm grateful that I still am in the business. I'm still covering the game that I love more than anything, um, but I get to do it from home. And, and for that, I'm very fortunate and it's not lost on me how lucky I am. I mean, just the smile you had on your face, actually you were covering it during the Joey Votto interview was as, as good as anything I've seen in a long time. I just recommend everybody go check out Joey Votto's appearance on MLB network recently, and, and you will see how much fun uh, Alana was having with that. Okay, so the third question, you know, a lot of us, when we get home from work, we we do, we get away from baseball. I don't go home and watch games when I get home for the most part. I'm watching a bit of, you know, what's going on with the Mariners and uh, the Astros this week and the Mariners and the Rangers because now we're getting down to, to crunch time. But I want to get away from it. My wife doesn't want me coming home and talking baseball nonstop. She likes the Royals. She likes what I do, but you, you happen to marry a baseball guy, a long time successful catcher in major league baseball. How much baseball do you guys talk? You know, when Chris was done playing, uh, he didn't really want to watch baseball. I don't think he was really a hundred percent ready to be done. And it was, you know, it was weird for him. I mean, he, that's all he's ever known since he's, you know, a little kid. So that was odd, but now we watch it all the time and I love it. I could watch any major league game. Uh, I can't say that about any other sport though. I won't watch any, you know, any NFL game, just the Broncos if they happen to be on, but I live in Patriots territory, so they're never on. 
Um, but, you know, I, I will watch every major league game, but I also have to because I have to cover all 30. And, you know, so it's either a baseball game on In Our House or Big Bang Theory. We've watched every single episode 115 times, but we love that show. So, yeah, we watch a lot of it. And being able to watch a game through Chris's eyes is very different. I wish I could see I wish I could watch a game the way that he watches the game. He was a major league catcher for, you know, over 10 years, um, almost 13 years or whatever of, of big league service time. So. I wish I could see it the way he does, but I ask him a, a ton of questions and why wouldn't I, you know, I, and that was one thing I had to learn coming up in this business that it's okay to ask questions that I, you know, I think as a woman, you feel like you have to prove that you know everything about the game because there's so many people that think there's no way a woman can know sports, but I've learned that how am I going to know more than someone that played? So I, I started to tap into the people around me, you know, the Oral Hershizers of the world or the Nomar Garcia Paras or, or whatever. And I definitely asked Chris a lot. Of, of, of questions. And, you know, we, we talk through scenarios and it's weird because I work for the league and he works for the players association. So it's an interesting dynamic for sure. Alana is married to longtime big league catcher, Chris Ionetta, uh, somewhat still recently married. And so um, that that's amazing. And everything has worked out so beautifully. So now I will ask you the question that I hate when I'm asked, but I'm going to do it anyway. And you might've changed your answer since take one on this one. I don't know over the course of four or five days who is going to win the World Series. And I'm absolutely not holding you to this. And I think I'm going to preface this unless you want to trump me on it by saying you can't pick the Braves. You didn't last time because that's the obvious answer. If the Braves win, nobody's going to be like, I told you so. I mean, they're one of the best teams statistically that we've seen in years with a season from Ronald Acuna Jr. that we've never seen before. And he's just one of many players. Of course, your Dodgers have two MVP candidates on that team and Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman. Who do you got winning the World Series? Unfortunately, I'm not going to pick the Dodgers because they don't have the pitching. Uh, they just don't have, in my opinion, they don't, their depth of their pitching staff is not enough this year. Um, they got decimated by pitching uh, injuries and those types of things, plus off the field garbage. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and say, I think if it's not the Braves, if I can't pick the Braves, um, I'm going to pick the Orioles. And the reason I'm picking the Orioles is because I love, I think they're the most complete team. The biggest fear I have with them is that they don't have a ton of big league experience and they're young, but I like, I like their pitching. They can hit. Um, they get on base. I, I just, I mean, who they won a hundred games and nobody, I think they had a 1.3% chance of even making the postseason at the beginning of the year. So, uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with the Orioles. I think, uh, there's a lot of holes in the other American league teams. Um, I would love to see the Phillies back in the world series. I like the Phillies. I'm a big Phillies fan. Uh, as far as like, I just like the roster. I, I just think they're, I'm, I, I, Bryce Harper is everything that's right with baseball in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'll go with the Orioles. I like, I like this because earlier in the week you went with Philly and now you switched to Baltimore, which means by next week you might switch to something else. I, I would love, by the way, that would be a rematch of the 1983 world series. Of course, pretty much no one playing would have been alive at that point, but that would be an amazing world series. One that nobody predicted. Um, I'm pulling for Baltimore. I love the Cinderella story. Ryan O'Hearn was a part-time first baseman here. And one of my top, and I know I know you get this, one of my top five to ten people I've covered in all of baseball, it's, it's oftentimes those guys that people just don't know, and they, they play part-time, and, oh, they're struggling. Ryan O'Hearn is classy as they come, so it's easy for me to get on board with the Orioles. And, and way back when I grew up in Philadelphia, that would be great. And, of course, if the Braves make it, it won't be a surprise. But either way, uh, we'll be watching you on MLB Network. Uh, Gidrysguardian.org. Please check them out. Donate, help, um, whatever it is. Uh, find a way, and then hopefully the, the scorekeeping classes will go around the country and all that. Alana, I really appreciate everything. Love all of your work. Have for many, many years. Thanks for spending time. It's my absolute pleasure. I do it anytime for you. Anything.